Welcome back to The Rustic Wife. I'm Alana. Well, it's February 21st. It's a beautiful day today, and I am standing in front of my vegetable garden. Well, actually, it's a snow garden right now, but I thought I'd do a fun video. Well, fun for <laughs> some people, I suppose, but I thought I would do some photographs of what my garden looked like in its heyday this past summer. And then I have some video of my root cellar, my preserving shelves, and the freezers when we stuff them full from all the goodness from our garden. I just recently did a new video of what they look like now. So we're going to do a back then and what it looks like now. So I hope you enjoy today's video. Here we are down the basement. I'm going to show you this part of the uh, food storage. This is all of my canned goods that I made this year. I'd say three quarters of them are from this year. There's there's a few things from last year that I um, had left over, but most of it is from this year. That top row of the smaller jars, they are relish. There's a couple of jars there of nine day pickles that I did today. And there's some ketchup, but I did not obviously make that. Um, Heinz did. Um, this second row here, this is some dried teas. So there is, to the left, there are raspberry leaves that I dried. There's some lemon balm. Those jars with the pink there, they are rose petals. Next, we have nine day pickles and some spicy cauliflower that I made last year. Next, pickled radishes. I made those this year as well. And of course, lots of dill pickles. We love dill pickles. So I did quite a few of those. And we also have pickled beets. Next, the bread and butter pickles from this year. Then we also have some um, pickled jalapeno rings. Some more nine day pickles beside that. And then right to the very end there, spicy yellow beans, spicy pepper rings, and also some zesty dill pickles. Next shelf is salsa and then peach salsa as well. I've got some canned sour cherries. Then I also have some applesauce at the end there. The bottom shelf, I've got those. The whole shelf is actually stewed tomatoes. That is also stewed tomatoes. These boxes on the floor here, I've got just kind of a mishmash of everything that won't fit on the shelves. I've got some, some more stewed tomatoes, some salsa. I've got some chili sauce and more pasta sauce, some white grape juice. Next we have this shelf, shelving unit I should say. Um, at the very top, zoom right in there, I have some canned plums. The next shelf down, that is peach jam and wild grape jelly. I've got some strawberry jam, I've got some red currant jelly as well. The next shelf down obviously is canned peaches and clearly we love canned peaches. I think I did 60, 58 quarts of peaches this year. And down from there is canned green beans. Right beside the beans are canned pears, and then some canned corn, and then some canned beets. The very bottom shelf, that is tomato juice, runs right through the entire length of that of that shelving unit. We also have some more peach jam and then some plum pre plum preserves. This is grape juice. So there's a mixture of Concord grapes in there and wild grapes and then a couple of jars of white grape juice. And then lastly on the floor is some more peach salsa. So that is everything on the shelves. Through this door here is our root cellar, so we will go in and, and have a look. So here we are inside the cold cellar. Uh, this actually is underneath our cement patio off the living room. Right here in this bin 
we have carrots and they are layered in between sand. So we went and got some bricklayer sand because it's, it's quite moist and um, we have those layered through. There, I just dug a carrot out of there and it's as fresh as it was when we took it out of the garden a couple of weeks ago. Now here are the potato bins here. We also made these bins out of old skids as well. We have our cabbage. Now our cabbage, we did not get a lot of cabbage this year. We had a horrific year with cabbage worms and moths. It was, it was just awful. Next we have our pumpkins and squash and we've got some turnip and some onions down here. So this is one of our freezers and a fridge that we have downstairs. Um, I'm going to show you what I've what I've got in them here. So you'll see this freezer is kind of packed to the brim here. I've got some frozen green beans here. I've also some frozen pineapple for smoothies and such. I keep my oatmeal in the freezer. I, I bought a bulk bag of it so there's some rolled oats. Also I've got some frozen strawberries, it's just part of it. Some fermented hot sauce that I made, keep that in the freezer. So the leeks are right there, they're double bagged. And this box right here is our green peppers and our lunchbox peppers. Our maple syrup that we make, I keep that in the freezer so it doesn't crystallize. Underneath that box of green peppers I have some tomatoes, frozen tomatoes from this year. Pumpkin puree here and I also have a bucket of roasted bread or roasted tomato sauce. This bucket here, I've got some beet greens and I also have some corn. This bucket here is more corn and some frozen green beans. That pail is all strawberries as well. Next in the freezer that's on top of the fridge down here, I've got some frozen raspberries, I've got frozen blueberries, uh, sour cherries, and also sour cherry pie filling that I've made, uh, some rhubarb. Next I'm out in the garage, we've got this Big old chest freezer here, and this is where we keep our meat. In these baskets I've got some duck breasts, some lard that I'd rendered. I also have some lemon juice. These are all the chickens that we grew when we had processed. Um, the last little bit of beef that we have from a local fella that where we get our beef. I've got some cream that I froze just until I have some time to do something with. On this side here we have some ducks that we processed and some more duck breasts and the last few pieces of pork that we have from our, our local fella. So we're getting some beef tomorrow. So I'm going to, I did make some space. I took the tomatoes out of here. That cream will, will be shoved off to the side and our side of beef will be fit in here somehow. <laughs> Just head down the basement and I'm gonna show you what we have left on our canning shelves and in the root cellar too. So it doesn't look like we've really eaten much here, but in the previous video from the fall, you can see there was all sorts of stuff on the floor. Um, I've also made some more things. I've taken some frozen cherry tomatoes and I made some pasta sauce and some, well, I attempted homemade ketchup. It didn't taste like ketchup. We've really put a dent in the peach salsa, sweet pickles we've, we've eaten. Um, I had three times the amount of those dilly beans. So we only have nine jars left. Also the canned tomatoes, I am almost out of pasta sauce. So the I will be using some of that to make pasta sauce. Over here, peaches, we still have six months left to go before we actually get more peaches and these will be gone for sure. I've also made some more jam up there since I did my previous video in the fall, I did marmalade. Um, we've been eating beans and some of the pears, the beets. Like I said before in my previous video, I don't love the canned corn, but I'll put that in something. Um, tomato juice, we've been working away at that. Those bags right there are my gladiolus bulbs, so we don't eat those obviously. And so that's what's left on our canning shelves. Quite full still, but like I said, we have another six months left to go and it will all get used up if I have some left over um, this summer, then I'll just not make um, as much this year. And into the cold cellar. Sure looks different than it did for my previous video. We are out of pumpkins, the squash. We still have some squash left to eat up. Um, the turnips are gone. We have a few onions left. And we have a few cabbage. 
um, potatoes, we're working away at those. The carrots have been storing really, really well in the sand. There's one. See, look at that carrot. Not soft at all, just perfect. Put it back. The temperature of our cold cellar right now is it's about six degrees. So this is the freezer. This is February and what we have eaten since I did the last video in the fall. So we have, we still have our maple syrup. There's two of these milk crates piled up. Um, these are, let me see them right there, bags of leeks that I'd cut up in the fall. I'm still actually working on some fresh leeks, so I'll, I'll use those when the fresh ones are done. This box here is um, pepper pieces, like pepper strip. Still have those plums there. This bucket is strawberries and frozen peaches for smoothies. Got some fermented hot sauce here and some oatmeal and some fish that one of my friends gave me. And we have, this is what's left of the pumpkin puree. And this bucket is what's left of the frozen tomatoes and pasta sauce. I think there's only three bags of pasta sauce left. Another bucket of, of strawberries. And this pail is frozen corn. And this is just a couple of bags of frozen beans and corn at the bottom and a couple of bags of frozen beet greens. So in this freezer, we have pineapple here. I bought some of those and packaged them up into bits for smoothies. Then there's raspberries, blueberries, sour cherries, and some rhubarb. I haven't used too much of that. Okay, we're gonna look in the big chest freezer in my garage here. So since I did this video in the fall, we have our beef order that we got in, we get a half half a beef from a local fella, and we also get um, a pig. Anyway, we've got our beef, um, ground pork there. There's a couple of pounds of venison, and that was just that was my dog. Um, and our chickens that we raise, we've got some bacon and pork chops and sausages over here, and some ducks that we some duck breasts here that we raised. I've got some um, pork back fat there. Underneath here, these are going to be hard to slide. Up. Anyway, there's some ducks and more chickens underneath there. So that's what we have left from uh, before and what we've added as well from our local meat orders. And there you have it. That concludes my before and after tour of our food stash that we have squirreled away down the basement. Whether you're a seasoned canner, a novice food prepper, or someone that's interested in preserving the harvest but you haven't taken the plunge yet, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I would also love to hear what your favorite thing to can is and if you have any handy tips on food storage, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and click on that bell if you want a heads up as to when I post new content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.